Yo, what's going on, guys? Christy Flakes here. It's still 2K day, so of course, man, gotta get to that double, triple upload. Uh, the simulation on 2K this season is actually pretty damn quick. Uh, for 2K18, it was slow as hell. It made doing A2 and O challenges, man, nearly impossible because it would just take forever. So I decided to bring back those challenges for NBA 2K19. If you guys want some more of these, uh, be sure to drop a like on this video, guys, so I know that you're interested in that type of content. For today's video, we are actually going to see if the top 10 point guards in the NBA could go 96-0 in the NBA, guys. Uh, that means sweeping the regular season and also sweeping the playoffs. Yes, guys, um, here is the line we are going with. So as far as the point guards selected, these are solely based off of the uh, ratings of NBA 2K19. So if you're like, yo, Lonzo Ball should be the best point guard. My apologies. Talk to Ryan 2K about that. You know what I'm saying, man? Because these are the guys based off the ratings. But yeah, so as the simulation goes around, I'm going to tell you guys like who I think is the best point guard in the NBA. Uh, the best up-and-coming point guards. You know, guys like that. You know, stuff like that. But here we go, man. Um, We are going to run Kyrie Irving at the natural point guard position just because I feel like his handles out there um, are some of the best of all time. Now, now, you can argue between him and Stephen Curry, but Stephen Curry's actually going to run it at shooting guard just because, I mean, come on, man, shooting guard, that's what that boy does, man. He shoots the basketball. We got Dan Lillard at small forward. No real reason. Just one of the best point guards in the NBA. Wanted him in the starting lineup. Uh, Chris Paul, despite being six foot, is actually one of the better rebounding point guards in the NBA. Also, his defense is really nice. And then, of course, Russell Westbrook, Mr. Triple Double. I mean, you want the guy you know, that gets the rebounds running the center position. This man averages you know, 10 plus a game. So, of course, he's running center. Um, as far as the bench, we got Drew Holiday, one of the best defensive guys out there. We got John Wall. Actually, they're all getting 20 minutes. But, you know, come on, man. We got to switch that around real quick, right? Uh, yeah, we got Drew Holiday, John Wall, Kemba Walker, uh, Kyle Lowry at 20 minutes a game. Then Goran Dragic. Somebody had to take an L, man. Only take 10 minutes. So, Goran Dragic. He actually was an all-star last season, though. So, still one of the better point guards out there. But, yeah, man. Let's go ahead. Uh, get going on the simulation, see if we can go 96 and on the NBA. I can't imagine anybody being this team, although, I guess, um, may may maybe the Warriors, although they no longer have Stephen Curry, so that helps us a ton out right there, so let's go ahead, man, start the simulation, simulate through date, and get this, oh, what the fuck, man, oh my god, what the fuck, bro, oh my god, man, all right, Freaking Mary had a bitch ass Jeremy Lamb. 22.6 rebounds against this team. Cody Zeller. Oh my god. Nicholas bitch ass tomb, guys. Come on, man. Frank the tank. Bro, it's gonna take a freaking monk in real life, man, to beat this team. Are you serious, man? We lost the first game? The first game. All right, man. Well, I'm just going to. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to do the simulation, bro. Uh, we're going to talk about some point guards for this video, guys. Yeah, man. So, as far as the best point guards in the NBA, well, I think you got it based off of the situation of what the NBA is like. The NBA, in my opinion, is a guard league. I know you got like small forces stuff that dominate, but I think I feel like it's a jump shooting league. So therefore, it's a guard league, right? Um, I feel like you need a really good point guard to win in the NBA right now. I mean, who, yo, who won last season? Oh, Bitch-ass Warriors, right, guys? I mean, yeah, but they had, of course, Stephen Curry. I, you know, going way back and stuff like that, man. The Warriors always win stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, you know, back when, like, when Cleveland won, they won with Kyrie Irving, right? But, yeah, so as far as the best point guard in the NBA, I do agree it's Stephen Curry. Now, I feel like Russell Westbrook does a lot of really great things out there. Um... And also, I, but, so I, I can't give him first place. So I, I can't give him first. And then you got Kyrie Irving, of course. But the thing is, while Stephen Curry is listed as the best point guard in the NBA, do you feel like him as a player, do you feel like he would be the best point guard if he was on a different team? Let's say he switched places with John Wall. Let's say he switched places with John. No, no, no. Let's say Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard, I feel like, is a better example. Let's say that Damian Lillard and Stephen Curry switched places. Would Damian Lillard have the same success on the Golden State Warriors as Stephen Curry? I mean, I will say that Stephen Curry is a better shooter, just naturally, man. I feel like Stephen Curry is the best shooter to ever play the game of basketball. Um, that's not just saying that now either, man. I, I know a few years ago you had to be like, yo, give him a few seasons. So we'll see if he passes like Ray Allen, Reggie Miller, guys like that. But no, Stephen Curry the best shooter in the NBA. Um, but at the same time, 
a big reason he gets all those shots off is because having Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, now bitch ass Boogie on the team. So it's like, if would you say Steph Curry was the best point guard if he switched places with Damian Lillard, or would Damian Lillard be able to put up those type of stats because of just the floor spacing, uh, the inability for defenses to double team and stuff like that? I don't know, man. So yeah, um, but I still say Steph Curry as of right now, based off the situation, the best point guard in the NBA. Russell Westbrook, um, Kyrie Irving, you know, Kyrie Irving and Chris Paul, I feel like those two could potentially be flipped around, just because, like, Chris Paul, I feel like, has more of the natural point guard tendencies, but Kyrie Irving is the better scorer out there, right? Uh, Damian Lillard, I think, is still extremely underrated, doesn't quite have the, doesn't quite get the same success as other uh, point guards out there, but at the same time, you look at Chris Paul, the team he's on, you look at Kyrie Irving, Russell, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard is not really on as great a team as those guys are. John Wall, Kemba Walker, stuff like that, man. You know, those guys are all beasts and stuff, too. Um, as far as upcoming point guards, I really I really do like Jamal Murray. I feel like he's going to be a big-time scorer in the NBA for many years to come. Uh, Terry Rozier, once he gets his own team out there, I still feel like he could be a 20-10 and 10 guy, potentially. Maybe 20-7. and 7. Not 20-10, and 10, that's too much. But, yeah, looking at this record right here, 72-9. Definitely not 82-0. Definitely not, man. I can't believe we lost that first game to the freaking bitch-ass Charlotte Hornets, guys. Uh, Russell Westbrook, though, actually getting MVP, which is really impressive considering that we are on a team full of other point guards, and he's only playing 30 minutes a game. So he's still putting up those stats despite, man, only playing 30 minutes a game out there. Um, so, yeah, look at the rest of the stuff. We got Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year. I believe he is listed. Yeah, I think he's listed as a point guard in this game. According to the NBA 2K rating site, which is what I'm looking at, he's listed as a point guard. Although, while he does have point guard tendencies, uh, I see him playing probably shooting guard, maybe even small forward in the NBA. Probably shooting guard is where it's at with Luka Doncic. Uh, you got Tyreek Evans as six man, Giannis Antetokounmpo, a freaking point guard in a small forward's body. I, I guess, but he's listed as small forward. I actually think he's played, he plays power forward this season, doesn't he? He played a last season for the Bucks, so I don't know about all that. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, getting most improved player. It's going to be interesting to see how he kind of rolls things out there with the. Uh, kinks and stuff like that because that team is extremely young and uh, i think he has a lot he still needs to improve on my best comparison for him still is mike conley i still feel like he could be a mike conley consistent type of point guard out there a guy that's always kind of underrated but at the same time um he's still you know a, a really solid player i don't know if he'll ever be an all-star but he can definitely be very close it's one of those guys where you're like yo we probably should have been an all-star this season but there's so many other talented guys in the nba um all nba first team we got russell westbrook making that uh, all NBA second, no point guards there. All NBA third, so we only had one of our point guards actually making that. Russell Westbrook, all defensive first team, um, and that's it, man. That's it for the point guard. So I'm really curious what type of stats these other guys put up out there. Uh, looking at the season stats, so we got Steph Curry leading this team in scoring at 18 points, six rebounds, uh, five assists per game. Again, the steals out there, shooting. What do you shoot from three, man? About 48 percent on seven attempts. That is so damn good, man. Kyrie Irving, of course, bringing the scoring out there. Always good for a few rebounds. His assist game, I, I really do wish that Kyrie Irving, let me actually look at his career stats. Um, I feel like he could be even a more of a playmaker out there, man. Just because, like, his handles and stuff like that, getting to the basket and just dishing it out to the open man. I think he can definitely average, like, eight, nine assists per game. I, I don't know why he doesn't. I think a lot of the times he does focus more on scoring. And, of course, when he played for Cleveland, uh, the offense was mainly ran through LeBron James, right? Russell Westbrook, who got MVP, still averaged that 17 points, got that 10 rebounds out there, got the assists. Uh, Damon Lillard brought the scoring out there. Chris Paul doing his thing, you know, always good for the, he's always good for what, like 18 points, roughly 10 assists per game. How do you do last season? His assists were actually, yeah, his assists were actually kind of low last season, eight a game. Big part of that was due probably to injury, but also playing with James Harden, who was more of a ball dominant guard. Uh, we got Kemba Walker out there doing his thing too. Do you guys think Kemba Walker is going to get the opportunity to go to a different team? Or do you see him re-signing with the uh, Charlotte Hornets long-term? I definitely want to see him go to a different team. I don't know which team would be a good fit for him. I still like the idea of my Detroit Pistons, potentially the New York Knicks. Uh, John Wall, another question about John Wall obviously being, um, you know, with the Washington Wizards. If you, got, if you were the GM of the Washington Wizards and you had to decide between trading away John Wall or Bradley Beal, who would you pick, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, Drew Holiday. I think he's more of a shooting guard, actually. Kind of more of a 3 and D type. I guess I don't really want to say 3 and D because he's not really all that much of a great three-point shooter. But defensively, uh, he locks down the shooting guard position. Played that a lot last season because Rondo was the point guard. Although he's probably going to start a point guard this season. That's what he's listed as, at least. Uh, Kyle Lowry. Guys, I got to be honest about Kyle Lowry, man. 
I feel like he might go through that same like depressing phase that Mo Williams did when LeBron James left the Cleveland Cavaliers, but he just completely shut down because DeMar DeRozan was this dude's best friend. He's just gone now, bro. So I don't know, man. I, I got a bad feeling about Kyle Lowry, but we'll see how the Raptors do. You get to play with Kawhi Leonard. He's still a beast. He don't talk much, but he's still a beast. And then Goran Dragic, um, he probably got a few decent seasons left to him and stuff like that. Bitch ass Josh Smith never passed the basketball in his whole damn life, man. You read toss them than brick ass three pointers. But here we go. Uh, we do have playoffs. So maybe we can at least sweep this, right? We got uh the Miami Heat in the first round with a sound white side who's actually listed as the best player on that team. I don't think he's the best player on the Miami Heat anymore. I feel like I feel like that's Dragic. Um oh my god, we lost okay, we got four games to one. We did lose a game though. We did lose a game. So I guess when it comes down to it, small ball is a good thing. This is some really small ball, maybe to a fault. We got the Pacers simulate current round here. See how this goes. And all right, got them four games to zero. Uh, close out game looking like this. Yo, Tyreek Evans, man, 35 points. God damn. Kyrie Evans, 28, 5 and 6, 27 with 15 rebounds for Russell Westbrook. Next up, the Boston Celtics. Similar current round. Do you guys think the Celtics are going to keep Terry Rozier? Um, or do you think, like, just in case Kyrie Irvin leaves? Or what do you think is going to go on there, man? That's I'm, I'm so curious to see what happens with Kyrie Irving after this uh, up, up and coming NBA season. I feel like a lot of it's going to come down to the success of the team. As Steph Curry almost gets a triple double. Next up, we got the. Uh oh. Come on, 2K. Don't be pulling this NBA live bullshit, man. Pulling the damn Dallas Mavericks in the NBA Finals. Don't be doing that this year, man. Oh. 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 Okay, got him four games to two. We lost two games, though, man. I got a little Russell. Uh, I, 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 a little war, but not a little Russell. Russell Westbrook, though, did get the finals MVP. Anyway, though, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. I definitely love these 82 and 0 challenges, 96 and 0, whatever you want to call it. Or is it 98 and 0? Oh my god, I can't do bitch ass math. Bro, I'm up to 98 and 0. Wait, let me get my bitch ass calculator. So the 82 games on a season plus 16. Oh shit, it's not. Oh, oh no, this is embarrassing, man. Bro, this is an embarrassing, man. 98 and 0 challenge. Anyway, if you guys want some more of these, let me know in the comment section below. Definitely love doing them because it gives me a chance to just like talk about basketball. Yeah, but yeah, man. Until next time, be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.